So I'll take a look at another short video to go along with my um, Swing Catalyst GC Quad integration. And I said that I would um, talk about some of the hardware that I use uh, with Swing Catalyst. And in my case, I use the um, Gigi cameras from FLIR to give you an idea of uh, what we're using. And I'll talk about the mount that I use. So the um, building that I set up my golf sim in, uh, it is, uh, I guess you call it a two-car garage. Um, I have a steel roller door on the back and my hitting screen, my impact screen is on the front. So to have a camera mounted on a tripod on a regular, um, I'm not a big fan of it. So I came up with um, this magnetic mount and I'll put the link description below if anybody's interested in it. But basically it's a magnetic mount that uh, a lot of people might have seen or used for a GoPro or some sort of action cam. I'm trying to focus in so you can see the brand, make and model of this thing. I'm from Petco. And again, I'll put the, the link in the description below if you're interested in purchasing that kind of uh, amount. So ideally you're wanting these cameras to be in the same spot all the time. So what I've done is I've traced a small circle where I physically put the camera each and every time and I'll just line it up onto the circle itself. And again, very important that you get the camera level always at the same height. So what I do, because I move my camera a lot, is I just set on a, a small bubble level and then I'll just rotate the camera on the door until I get it straight. And my camera is always in the same angle, same height, and it's always nice and level at all times. So this is my down the line camera that I would typically use in my Simbay. And then of course on the other side for the right hand uh, right hander I have another Gigi camera from FLIR on the um, face on view for right. And for the mount that I use this one's permanently fixed to the wall. Um, it's actually a Netgear Arlo mount. So I have that set up from, uh, I just had an extra mount from uh, one of my Arlo cams. And I use that and it seems to work quite well. That one's in a fixed position all the time. Um, if I do have a lefty using the Swing Catalyst software, I will take that camera off. And I have a separate uh, mount on the wall over here. This is what the mount looks like without the camera. So it gives you a bit of an idea. And I'll actually take the mount and same similar idea as I have the mount set up. And I would put it on the wall over here. And again, put my level back on there. And that's set up for uh, a lefty now. That's the idea behind it. So um, my feedback from the Gigi setup or the Gigi cameras, uh, I have one of the older cameras. It's not really that old, but uh, I see that uh, Swing Catalyst has just released uh, the newest Gigi cam, uh, Black Fly. Mine is the Black Fly Gigi cam, but um, Revision One or or whatever it might be. Um, I'm maxed out at 90 frames per second, and this one looks like it is uh, much higher, getting into that 290 frames per second. So some feedback that I have on the, the Gigi cam itself is basically if you don't need to uh, have, in my case, I needed the extra Ethernet cable. I have a lot of distance from where my PC is set up, so I needed the Gigi cam on. Um, for PoE so that I have the distance. Uh, it does take a little bit of a computer savvy type of a person to be able to set up the Gigi Cam and it comes with some challenges uh, with the software and just sometimes with the network etc you can run into some issues. Um, if my I guess my opinion would be if you have the option to go with a USB the USB 3 cameras uh, definitely want to go that route. They're plug and play, just like a webcam, very simple, very easy. Uh, I highly recommend the USB cameras. Um, if you need the extra running distance, the USB cable won't go the distance that you need. Uh, definitely, uh, you're going to want to go with a PoE, but you're going to need some, uh, some computer skill to set up the network, and you're going to need uh, a PoE uh, Ethernet card. 
So I have a dual internet card on my PC. I'll actually just click over to the website here and give you an idea of what you're looking at. So I'm not sure how much I paid for mine. This is right off of um, Swing Catalyst uh, website. Um, they have theirs on for $180, but basically I have that exact same card. I did some research and picked up that card. I have a two camera system. Um, with my system, um, once in a while I will set up uh, the cameras and I'll put one overhead. So I've got a couple um, mount mounting brackets on the top of my sim bay and I can do kind of an overhead shot as well. But uh, again, uh, highly recommend the USB camera for plug and play. If you're uh, familiar and you're a little tech savvy and you need the extra length of the cables, um, you're going to want to go PoE option, but uh, of course you have the extra cost of the card. Um, and the cameras, yeah, they're very close, very similar in price. I'll go back to the camera. So here's the USB camera. Yeah, the camera USB versus uh, the GigiCam, exact same price. Obviously, with the GigiCam, you're going to need the uh, PoE network card, so it comes at an additional cost as well. So, gives you a bit of an idea of what you're you're up against. Um, I'll see if I can get a shot of the lens, the lens that I use. And if you're buying everything through Swing Catalyst, the guys down at Swing Catalyst, absolutely uh, excellent. They'll uh, get you all the information that you need. You'll give them the measurements of your sim bay. And um, from there, they'll help you out with uh, what lens you need for your particular distance. And here's the lens that I ended up with. From my back wall to my hitting area, I have about six feet. And probably about eight feet for the face on camera to where my hitting area is. So it gives you a bit of an idea. But again, if you're buying these cameras through the guys at Swing Catalyst or your local uh, authorized dealer in, for Swing Catalyst, they'll definitely hook you up with all the, the uh, hardware and ask the appropriate questions for what you need and what you need to do and the hardware that you, uh, you need to purchase. So if you have any questions, comment below. Soon to come, I'm going to do some videos on some of uh, some club fitting tools, loft fly machine, swing analyst machine, um, or sorry, frequency analyzer and shaft puller from Golf Mechanics. A couple of videos uh, that I'm going to post here shortly. And, um, if anybody's interested, happy to share. Um, anyway, that's that's a wrap, and uh, we'll finish off there. Thanks for watching. Mm-hmm.